Hello everyone and welcome to the Narcosis channel. And let's continue our second ECG subject, electrocardiographic leads. And as Socrates said, The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. In the last video, we have talked about the limb leads and the chest leads, and we know the difference between them. And we have started to talk about the Eindhoven Triangle and the triaxial reference system of unipolar leads and the triaxial reference system of limb leads. Today we will fuse both triaxial reference system to summon the hexaxial reference system with each axis being separated by 30 degrees from the other. Note carefully that each of the six leads retains its polarity, positive and negative poles, and orientation, lead direction. And we will talk about the lead orientation in the next slide. But after all of that, what is the benefit from all this, the Eindhoven Triangle, and the triaxial and the hexaxial reference system? Actually, this is important in determining the major direction of the heart's electrical forces. As we shall see later, this is what we call the electrical axis of the QRS complex, and this will determine some of the electrical axis abnormalities. Okay, I hope we understand the Eindhoven triangle and its benefit, and now let us jump to the last subject on the second lecture of our ECG series, which will be about the lead orientation. We have seen that the 12-lead ECG consists of the following 12 leads recorded in succession. Lead 1, lead 2, lead 3, AVR lead, AVL lead, AVF lead, and the chest leads V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. And as in our life, the most important and powerful person always take the best scene in the show. So that with the left ventricle, as it is the dominant and clinically the most important chamber of the heart, it needs to be assessed in detail. That it is seems that all the ECG leads are created to look to the left ventricle from different views. V1 and V2 chest leads are closer to the right wall of the left ventricle near the septum that separates both right and left ventricle. So they represent the changes that occur in the septal wall of the left ventricle of the heart. V3 and V4 chest leads are closer to the anterior wall of the left ventricle. So they represent the changes that occur in the anterior wall of the left ventricle of the heart. V5 and V6 chest leads are closer to the lateral wall of the left ventricle, so they represent the changes that occur in the lateral wall of the left ventricle of the heart. AVL and lead one limb leads are closer to the high lateral wall of the left ventricle, so they represent the changes that occur in the high lateral wall of the left ventricle of the heart. AVF and lead two and three limb leads are closer to the inferior wall of the left ventricle, so they represent the changes that occur in the inferior wall of the left ventricle of the heart. So the regions of left ventricle can be represented on ECG as follows the septal wall represented by V1, V2, the anterior wall represented by V3, V4, the lateral wall represented by V5, V6, the anteroseptal wall represented by V1, V2, V3, V4, the anterolateral wall represented by V3, V4, V5, V6, the high lateral wall represented by AVL and lead 1, the inferior wall represented by AVF and lead 2 and 3. And when you take the ECG paper, you have to use to see the ECG as geographical paper for the left ventricle and not as a separate leads. 
In another word, you have to see the paper as those colors. But actually, we have to stand for one minute to pray for the AVR lead, as we didn't talk about it today, although it play important role in representation, but we will talk about it in another video. And by this, we have finished the lead's orientation and the second chapter of ECG, which was about electrocardiographic leads, and let's jump to the question of this day. Where does the anteroseptal region of the left ventricle represented on ECG? Thanks for watching. I will be more than grateful if you press the like, subscribe button, and share this video with your colleagues. If you have any suggestions to improve my channel, leave a comment and let me know, please. See the description below for the newest updates and for more infos. Also, don't forget to follow us on other social media sites. Keep your narcotic dose and good luck.